Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are going to be going through all the brand new cultures and culture system in RAS version 0.6. Now this is going to be a slightly shorter video than usual because this system is still a very much work in progress, guys. This is what they've managed to get going and working for 0.6, and trust me, they have experimented and tried so many different things to balance this system out. But this is the system that they've managed to um, rely on for 0.6. But going forward, there's going to be many changes and tweaks to this. So this is how it's going to work when the game comes out on 27th of October. So bear that in mind. But overall, guys, they've increased the number of cultures by quite a long way. So we've got the 12 new Greek cultures, the 12 Anatolian cultures and four Thracian cultures now as well and I must explain the cultures when I'm talking about cultures in this video we are talking about the religion mechanic from barbarian invasion and for all intents and purposes in this game it represents culture but when we go into the settlement details for example oh that's not a good example because it's Pella <laughs> let's go over here we go into here you can see Thracian culture is causing unrest in this settlement. You will also get unrest based on the buildings. If you have different buildings to what your faction is, remember that from the economy video. So, for example, the Seleucids over here, they are Eastern Hellenic. But if they take, say, one of these, Western Hellenic, they will also get cultural unrest in there. So sometimes the cultural unrest will be due to buildings. Other times it will be due to this religion mechanic so bear that in mind generally though overall they've reduced the amount of cultural unrest you can get for this religion mechanic just because previously it was causing quite a few issues like every now and then every 10 turns or so a cultural settlement that was a different culture to yours would just go crazy with uh, unrest so they've changed that and tempered that down quite a bit so you shouldn't have quite as much unrest from this religion mechanic for now in RAS version 0.6. So let's now talk about the brand new cultures in the game. So let's talk about all the new cultures and who starts with them. Who is the native culture of each of these cultures, guys? And they are all based on historical data and who the original colonizers and who the original founders of these places and cities were and what culture they had at the time of the start of the mod. So it's all based on history. So let's start with Dorian, guys. And we see them here in Sicily from Syracuse and Acragas, starting with Dorian. As well as that, you also have Taras over here, which is Tarentum. You can see these uh, cities are Dorian as well, even these Roman cities. We've got Issa over here that has them. We've also got the Acarnanian League over here this brown nation here we've got the achaean league that also are dorian to start with argos and sparta are also dorian so you can see a bit of dorian on the peloponnese here as well as the spartans now all of the cretans are all dorian as well and we also have a few extra ones out and further away such as Rhodes. Chersonesos, which is far in the north. Uh, we've got Heraclea Pontica over here. Byzantium is Dorian. Chersonesos, far in the north over here. And that is everyone that is Dorian to start with. So let's now talk about Ionian. So Ionian is over here in Emporion, and this is the icon for it. There you can see the uh, sort of, I think that's Athena over there and you can kind of tell where these colonies uh, have come from i guess from working out the cultures yourselves but if you want to see a bit more information on all of that go check out my interview with mausolos on all the brand new factions the greek factions in the game but we've got emporion and massalia over here that are ionian with that we've also got athens all the way back over here they are ionian as well chios over here where's chios there we are chios as well as pentapolis which is all the way in the north they are ionian too histria and Ol olbia these northern ones histria over there and olbia 
there as well. Militos and Prayin. So we have to go down to Turkey once again. So Militos and Prayin, you can see, are Ionian in here. You can see quite a big swathe of Ionian over there. As well as Kizikos, Kios, these little islands over here. We've got uh, Kizikos there and Kios there as well. Sinope and Trapezus are also Ionian. So these far northern ones up here. And of course, you can see that these are all the places that were either Militine or sort of Athenian colonies. So that's where these cultures come from, guys, as well. So let's have a look now at Aeolian, which is the Boeotian League over here. And this is the icon for Aeolian. You see like a little helm, almost looks like a Bactrian helm, to be fair. So Boeotian League and the Thessalian League in the middle here. You can see that big swathe of Aeolian uh, culture in Larissa and around Larissa in Thessaly. We've also got Arcadian in the middle of the Peloponnese here, guys, and also uh, a little bit uh, down towards Ellis. You can see this boar as the icon for it. This is around the city of Megalopolis, the emergent faction of Megalopolis. That is the main uh, proprietor and only proprietor of Arcadian. Next up, we've got Northwestern Greek, which is the Aetolian League and Ellis, guys. And it is this bull statue here as well. So you've got those two factions, pretty close proximity to each other, that are Northwest Greek. Followed by the Epirotes, guys, which you can probably guess is only Epirus. And this is the symbol for it here. So only Epirus gets the Epirote. So you'll be a, a lonely cultural icon if you play as Epirus. On to a much larger culture group now, guys. And we have Macedonian, which of course is for the Antigonids, the Seleucids, the Ptolemies, as well as Pergamon. Over here, they are Macedonian. But you may see that they actually don't start as Macedonian. So that is what they want to be. So that'll be a bit of a... Uh, a cultural journey for you if you want to get Pergamon converted to Macedonian as well. As well as Kyrene all the way in North Africa. Like I said, with the Ptolemies as well. So Kyrene. But they are, you know, a bit of Dorian in there as well. But their leaders, of course, are Macedonian. So they want to become a Macedonian nation as well. Along with them, we have the Lysiads in central Anatolia around here so the lysiad dynasty they will pop up somewhere around this region over here and they are a macedonian faction as well and finally we get the hellenistic rebels so any of the rebels that you get for say the ptolemies and the seleucids they are going to be macedonian now we have to go all the way to the far east to find Greco-Bactrian. In Bactria, you may see that some of it is Macedonian already and Iranian. But Bactria Basalion over here, we can see the icon for that. That is Greco-Bactrian in the far east. And combined with this, there is also the Indo-Greek skies. So the Indo-Greeks, I don't believe, start with any cultural areas for themselves. So they don't really start... I don't think anyway, don't fully hold me to this, that there are any areas that have Indo-Greek culture right from the start. But if the Indo-Greeks do spawn out of the Seleucids, then they will have the Indo-Greek culture. We've also got Bosporan for the Bosporan Kingdom, which is a bow and arrow as well. Very, very appropriate for that kingdom. And we've also got Pamphylian Greek, and Cypriot Greek. So if we go across to Cyprus over here, you will see Cypriot Greek over here as the dove. If I can hover over that, that is the dove. And there's also Pamphylian Greek as well around Pamphylia, which is over here on the south coast of central Anatolia. You can see a big swathe of territory here that is Pamphylian Greek. We've also got Carrion over here around Kaunos for the Chrysaurian League. Uh, and they get the nice little battle axe, which I think is very appropriate. You can see all around Carrier over here near Mylisa. 
and a Stratatonicuia. Yes, perfect pronunciation. And of course, nearby, we've also got the Lycians. You've also got Lycians around Lycia, of course, which will spawn in the Lycian League if the Ptolemies let them rebel. And that has replaced the generic Anatolian symbol that we've seen previously for the previous versions of the mod. Next to them in Selgate, we have Pisidian, which you can see is already uh, kind of Dorian, but uh, should be Pisidian around this region, which is this sort of Isle of Man with the club in Pednalesos and Catena that you can see. Uh, also in Paphlagonia, we also have Paphlagonian all the way up in here. You can see another bull's head, a different bull's head this time. And over in Silesia, you have the Silesian culture as well. Now, just a note here, guys. A lot of these cultures are regional as well. So we have other cultures in here as well. Not just these ones that the, uh, that the people have, like Isaurian over here in Isaura. You've also got Mycenae like we've seen over at Pergamon. There's a few other cultures involved. And really it just gives a huge cultural outlook uh, of the region and what the cultures, like Phrygian over here, uh, uh, what the cultures of the regions really were at the time. And you can see it was a big cultural minefield pretty much. Now one thing to note here, guys. Uh, for Cappadocia and Pontus, we have Cappadocian uh, culture. But if I have a look at this guy, you can see he's the faction heir of Pontus, but he is actually Iranian, guys. So he does not match the culture of these lands. And you can see the buildings themselves also are Iranian. And that is because at the time, you know, the Cappadocian and Pontic elites were Persian Iranians that were ruling over a Cappadocian land. So that is why you will have a big difference between your leaders and your culture in your land when you load those boys up. So like I say, Anatolia, very much a cultural minefield. You can see even more different cultures over here now as well. Caucasian. Uh, and these have all been added in, of course, for later on when these factions all get added in. But so many more cultures that really do represent, uh, you know, the cultural minefield that was the time and the amount of different cultures that inhabited these lands. So before we move on to the Thracians, guys, like I said before, if there's any that were on the list at the start that I showed you that I haven't mentioned, they will not be tied to a faction. They will just be a regional culture for that region. So that is why I may not have mentioned them if I haven't mentioned them at all. So let's move on to the Thracians, where we do have a few different cultures. Now we have the generic Thracian culture which is covers like most of the factions so we have the adrisians that have the thracian culture and it's got the thracian icon that is the same as the thracian nation so very easy to remember as well also with that we have the bessie over here and the maidy i believe are thracian as well as the denthalate and we also have kabile and asti that are also so we've got Asti over here that's Thracian, and we've also got Kabile up here that's Thracian. But linked with that, we do have a couple of other unique Thracian fa uh, Thracian cultures, and we have the Tribali all the way up here that have their own Tribalian culture, which is kind of like I don't know, is that a deer, a deer's head, I guess, uh, which is pretty cool. We've also got the Pionian culture for. Pionia, <laughs> of course, guys, over here, which is like a horse's head. Uh, and finally, we have Bithynian culture over here. For Bithynia, uh, which you can see is this icon here. And you can see actually quite a bit of the Galatian land. Well, there's one settlement here that's Bithynian as well. But the Galatians are split by many different cultures now, which is kind of cool to see. 
Right, guys, let's move on to how we get our culture to be the predominant culture in here and the system of culture that works in 0.6. So let's move over to Seleucia for the thing you've all been waiting for. How do we culture convert in 0.6? And now there's a couple of things I need to explain with this. The religion mechanic in the game comes from barbarian invasion and it uses of course buildings to culture convert traits from your governors as well and neighboring regions to spread all the religions around the map but because ras has so many uh, regions in the game for example uh, you know seleucia here is bordered by an absolute ton of regions and all these regions are mesopotamian as well so because there's so many regions in the game these percentages here from buildings are now massive basically to enforce culture in a region that is neighbored by a lot of regions and i know that uh, in 0.5 for especially for a lot of you guys it's very difficult to culture convert because of the neighboring region so that now has been changed so that you can, of course, culture convert with massive percentages rather than before, where the neighboring regions would just take over and just culture convert their way away from your culture. You may have also noticed these cheeky little buildings in here, the Macedonian polis. But if we go across to Greece over here, you'll see many different polises. Like here, we have an Ionian polis. Over here, we've got a Macedonian community and a Lydian city so if we have a look at the building browser if you go down to culture you will find these buildings in many places the reason why they exist is to be a visual representation and offer base conversion to the local religion guys and it shows the impact of these you know cultures across the greek world now these only really exist for the greeks uh, not really for anyone else so if we have a look we've got another ionian polis over here no macedonian one for this one and you can see a little macedonian but also a thracian hill fort in this settlement as well now at this moment in time guys these buildings cannot be destroyed or built they are set in the game to represent the local cultures who have come into this region and set up their city and have a cultural impact in that region. So it represents sort of migrant communities and communities that have been there for some time that have set up their communities, say a Phrygian city in Phrygia, that uh, represents their community that's been set there for a while. So for example, in Bactria or up here in the far north, uh, you know, we will have Macedonians, but we also got uh, native culture Iranian a little bit there as well. But not as much Macedonian settling up here. It's only Macedonian settlements that have been set up. And like I say, at the minute, they can't be built. In future, however, they are looking to try and make this system so that you can build and destroy these buildings in some way. Now, I've seen the amount of experimentation they've done with this. Uh, and there's, you know, a lot of different things going on with it. So just give them a bit of time. And I'm sure by 0.7, there'll be a really nice... Uh, you know fluid system in there so these policies have kind of replaced so this say for phrygian city has kind of replaced your ability to build that greek colony building that you used to be able to build in 0.5 that's no longer accessible to you but there is one building that will let you culture convert guys and it is your recruitment building so now the culture's tied into this building in general Seleucid recruitment one so if we have a look at level one and two it actually uh, converts to the local culture not your culture at all and that is to keep the happiness there so there isn't cultural unrest in these places like we talked about before you can see a little bit of cultural unrest here Macedonian culture is causing unrest mainly because there's 20% Macedonian here right now, whereas the main re uh, religion in the settlement is Silesian. But if you want to culture convert, you can see level 1 and level 2 offers the same as level 1. Uh, but if you want to culture convert, you have to upgrade it 
to level three. And that's where we see the difference. So you can see religious conversion to Macedonian goes up to 80% for level three. And in level four, it's just Macedonian, 80%. So it removes the Silesian culture conversion. You'll still have it from the Silesian community, which is there to balance it out and uh, provide resistance to your cultural conversion. And this is very similar to the AOR system that I'm going to do a video on as well. You can see level two recruitment. It's all the AOR units, but I will do a video on this, guys. So we will go through this in full detail. Whereas when we get on to level three, you can see some AOR units, but all your Macedonian units as well. And then when we go across to level four, just Macedonian units. So they are tied intrinsically into each other, both the culture and and the units you can recruit. And I think that's a really, really cool addition to the game. Allows, you know, it's a little bit more realistic, isn't it? Having the fact that culture is tied to the units that you are going to be able to create. Now, there isn't any, um, you know, uh, percentage ability for this. So you can't, like, set it so that uh, the culture, if the culture is 50%, you can recruit these units or these units. That unfortunately does not work in the game at the minute. There's a problem with the engine around that. Trust me, they have tried that out if you are going to comment that down below. Uh, so this is there to simulate that as well. But this is how you get your cultural conversion in the game. So you can see this one here goes Dorian and Thracian because this is a Dorian and Thracian area. But then when we get up to level 3, it gets that Macedonian conversion. And then level 4 should simply just be Macedonian and should culture convert you across. Because that's also a higher city level now as well, it means that it's a little bit more realistic in terms of culture conversion, in terms of culturally converting later on in the game when you have built up your city up to a larger city as well which is really cool i mean we can see this in action if we go across to seleucia for example we've got a level four seleucid recruitment here and you can see because of that the macedonian is uh, overwhelmingly positive here above those even with that neighboring regions so like i say those massive percentages are there to really get rid of that neighboring region supremacy when you have so many regions <laughs> on the map like i said previously these cultural differences going later into the game won't be as much of an impact because they've reduced that cultural unrest you get randomly every now and then you can also culture convert with your generals of course who will get their own culture when they spawn so like the antigonid generals are likely to get macedonian culture if they spawn in a macedonian land and you can use that it's only five percent so it really is the buildings that are going to make the big difference in this version of the mod so finally guys all of these little buildings these macedonian policies and all these polis buildings are only there for the cultures they've added into the game in 0.6. So don't be playing as Rome and expecting to see these buildings in there. They will be for the Greek, Thracian, and Anatolian regions and the Diadochi as well. So uh, yeah, just for those cultures. And of course, going forward, they hope to streamline this system, allow a way for you to build and destroy these cities and policies, and uh, make a bit more of a seamless cultural uh, conversion system for the future. And of course, add in all the different cultures to new culture groups, such as the Italics, the Carthaginians, uh, Celts, Germans, Iberians, as the mod gets updated with subsequent updates. Well, guys, I hope that has helped. I hope that makes a lot of sense. Pretty much simply, if you want to culture convert, you've got to get up to level three or four recruitment building in those cities. Most of the time, your cities will remain the local culture that they have until you get up to those larger cities and you're building those uh, recruitment buildings, which are recruitment and cultural conversion buildings now as well. But previous to that point, you will be able to recruit your AOR units in those regions because of the high culture of other cultures in there. High, high culture of other cultures? High level of other cultures in there. For example, in here where we have Aeolian, 
We should be able to recruit some Aeolian units, but I don't have... Uh, there's no barracks. There's only one barrack in there. <laughs> we need to find a better version, better example of this. Sardis, maybe. Yeah, we've got a better barracks. You can see we can culture convert, uh, culturally get some of these guys like Lydian Acontistae, Lydian Hippocontistae, because this area, of course, is Lydian, and we are only on level three, so there is a bit of AOR in there. But if that was level two, we would be able to just recruit AOR units in there but like i say we're going to do a full video on that coming up and i'm really excited for that one ras weekends is coming towards the end now so i just wanted to thank all you guys for your massive support on this series and for the mod itself as well and of course we will be doing a campaign when 0.6 comes out so keep your eyes out for that one and uh, we will be doing it very very soon so thank you very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure please do like and subscribe and i'll see you all again on the next video